Okay, interesting news here in uh, Egyptian archaeology and pyramid archaeology itself. Um, they have found the Great Chamber um, in the Great Pyramid itself. Above that Great Chamber, there's another hidden chamber, and uh, they can't quite get to it, and there's a portal from the side that leads to it. And uh, this is a mock-up of the blimp. That's not, this isn't a mock-up. This is one of the ones that they use. And it's actually a blimp. It runs on lighter than air like helium and so on. But um, the one that they're going to use internally is going to be an inflatable or a balloon type. And supposedly they already have the permits in lieu. What they need to do now is prove the technology. So they're going to have to fake this. And this is an animation showing you somewhat what they're going to do here at the pyramids. Now this French team is boring a hole in the wall that's going to be just literally an inch and a half, two inches wide, and inside of that tube uh, they're going to be able to peel it open and inflate a craft that goes around and uh, with LED lights and uh, HD cameras on it that float around. It's going to have two separate things. One is flying and one is viewing. So they'll be uh, radio operated, although it can operate on its own power and it will be able to look around into the chambers. And here's like the deploying device that they have for it. So it's real interesting in the pyramids and showing you something. Now what they have to do is prove that they can bring it back to the stick and in. Now, that's some old news, uh, but just from this year, but they have found new chambers um, for ancient dynasties that are close to these ancient pyramids also. And... Uh, it's neat. Uh, in a moment, we'll look at those too. But here you, they find this is where that chamber area is. And the cosmic rays that penetrate all the way through all of us all the time have a hard time going through. And they show with these plates they put, put below it that there is a void in that one area that is allowing it to come through that is distinctly showing something 90 to 100 feet long. And it looks to be a fairly good size. It could be a small chamber like what's depicted here just as a relief chamber and uh, that would be somewhat disappointing but um, it also may be uh, a large chamber as large as the Queen's Chamber or the Ascension Chamber but uh, this is the technology and the way they're going to do it like that they had done in the other chamber before which is real neat now here's the new chambers that they found they found three ancient new tombs now they're working on the third. They've gotten through the first two, and we're about to have a video out on the information out of there. But they found four coffins in there in burial places. And where this is, is in Burial Mound 3. They consider it to be a part of Fayum, but not connected. It's uh, a separated place. And they're having to date these mummies at this point and everything. And they're kind of careful about that now somewhat but neatly it drops through this shaft that goes all the way down some 60 meters 